Welcome to another Tech Help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Rost. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use the onClick event to make a label that changes a date field. See these little guys right here? Plus one, plus one, plus one, right? Minus one. All right, you can use this for appointments or any other kind of date field. Today's question comes from Anderson from Buffalo, New York, my old stomping grounds, one of my platinum members. Anderson says, is there a way that I could click a button to move someone's appointment date forward one day? And that should be a question. Usually I catch those, but I just copied and pasted this from his email. Sorry, Anderson, watch your grammar, okay? <laughs> this happens a lot in our office, and I'm sick of having to click on the field, type in a value, or click on the little pop-up calendar and click on the date. There's a lot of steps involved in changing a date, I know. I just want one click and it's done. Okay. Okay, so let's see how this works here. Here's a copy of my Tech Help free template. This is a free download from my website. Go grab a copy if you'd like. On here, I've got a customer form. And I've got a customer sense, but let's pretend this is their appointment date, all right? So we'll just use customer sense since there's already a date field there. Now, this is going to involve one line of programming. So if you haven't watched my intro to VB video, go watch it right now. It's free. It teaches you all the basics of getting into VBA programming. It's not hard. All right, go watch that lesson now if you've never done any VBA programming, and then come back. Now these buttons right here that I've created before, okay, these use something called an on-click event. Okay, when you click on this button, it opens this form. And there's an event that happens when you click on it. There's an event that happens when you click on these fields too, but there's nothing assigned to that right now. So let's see where that event is. Right click, design view. Okay, open up the properties for the orders button, for example. And you'll see right here it says on click under the event tab, on click. There's on double click. There's on got focus. That's what happens when you tab to this or clicked on a field, for example. The on got focus, on lost focus when you leave a field there's all kinds of stuff you can do okay on click is the one you want on click says when I click on this object whether it's a button or a text box or any of that stuff do some stuff what's the stuff that you do well event procedure means we got some VBA code so click on the dot 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 button all right and in here there's already some code I built this in a previous video right it's do command open form that just opens up the order form for the current customer Okay, and I explained this in the template video, but let's do something else. Let's do something from scratch. So ignore these buttons for now. In fact, I'm going to take these buttons. I'm going to move them over here. Get them out of the way. Pretend these don't exist. All right, let me teach you. Well, those are different sizes, aren't they? I didn't even catch that. Okay, let's see how we can make a little button to change the date in the customer sense field. I want to move it ahead one day, all right, just like Anderson wants to. So come up top on the design tab, find a command button right there, button. They used to call it command button. Now it's just button. Drop it there. And we're going to cancel the wizard. Okay, what we want to do isn't in the wizard. Love the wizard. Does some great stuff, but it doesn't do this. Let's change the caption, right? Plus one. All right, that's just the caption and the button itself. Okay, we'll slide that right there next to customer sense. Okay. Now, it's called command 30 right now. Axis just gives it a name, command 30. Let's change this. Let's give it a good name. Let's call this plus one day BTN for button. All right, give it a good name. Go to events, go to on click and hit the dot 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 button or or on click is the default event. You can just right click on the button and come up to build event. It's way up top here off the screen. Build event. Now, if you haven't watched my intro to VBA video, which you should have by now, then you might get a window up that says what builder do you want? Pick the code builder that makes sure that you get the visual basic window, right? And I'm right inside here in the plus one day button underscore click. This is the on click event for this button. All right. What do I want to do in here? Well, it's very simple. I want to increase the date of the customer sense field by one day. Now, remember, dates in access work like this. One is equals one day. So if you want to increase it a week, plus it by seven, or add seven to it, plus it by seven. I sound like a third grader, right? So I'm going to say customer sense equals customer sense plus one. That's it. Remember I said this required one line of code? That's it. One line of code. One, you just got to know where to put the line of code and how to get there. Once you know how to do it, it's simple. Okay, save it. Close this, all right? Close down the properties, close down the form, open it back up again, and watch this. Click. 
click, 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 click. See, Anderson, nice and easy. Right now you don't have to click on this. Hit the little. Where'd it go? Hit the little uh, calendar. Oh, see the calendar. There it goes. Sometimes that calendar. There's another object here. That little calendar guy. That pop up hides, but it's still there. All right. Then you got to come down here and click on that. All right. This is so much easier. And, and notice it's still it's still there. It still exists there. You could turn that off, by the way, if that's a problem. Double click on this guy. Go to Format. Find Show Date Picker, and then turn it off. Never. All right, if you got your own little button here, because that date picker actually pops up there, and it's kind of being obscured by our button. So I don't, I don't, honestly don't like that date picker, to be honest with you. I don't use it a lot. I have my own that I built. It's on my website. I'll put a link to it down below if you guys are interested. I've got one also that you can pop up the time, too. Shameless advertising plug. Here's my date picker. All right, it looks a lot better. You click on a field, you hit select date, boom, this thing pops up. And here's my time picker. Same thing, but for times. All right, you click a button, this pops up, you can click on 11.55 a.m. if you want to, okay? I'll put links to the stuff down below. Okay, advertising done for now. <laughs> Let's say you don't want to use a button, though. Let's say you want something a little fancier, or you got a lot of stuff you want to put on here, and you don't want to clutter it all up with buttons. Let's get rid of this button. Delete. Let's use a little teeny tiny label. I like to do this trick. This is one of my favorite tricks. Find a label in here. Click right there, and go plus one. That's it. Okay, let's make it um, let's make it blue like that. All right, and just make it as small as we can, but still fit All right next to it. There you go. Okay, open up its properties. Go to all. Let's give it a name. Plus one day label. All right, anything that I'm going to put code in or refer to, I like to give it a good name. All right, my buddy Alex taught me that one. Because I used to just leave it as Command-15 because I wasn't going to refer to it anywhere else. But it's better to name your stuff, okay? On click event, dot, dot, dot. Now we're right in here. Now we got rid of this button, so we can actually delete this code. But first, I'm going to steal that. Copy. And paste it right in there. And now we can delete the button stuff because I deleted the button. When you delete an object like a button, it doesn't delete any associated code with it. So you got to be aware of that when you're programming. Okay, save it. Close it, open it back up again, and look at that little tiny plus one there. Click, 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 does the same thing. See? That's because an on-click event is associated with that label. Okay? You can associate them with fields themselves. In fact, I like to use a double-click event. I got a video coming up on on-double-click. I'll show you how to do that. We can just double-click here on the field, and that will increase the, the date in there. That way you don't have to have the labels everywhere. But the labels are good if you want to go plus one uh, day, plus one week. In fact, I'm going to show that in the extended cut for the members. We'll make little buttons here for plus a day, plus a week, minus a week, plus a month, plus a year. Okay, you can have little, little values in here. And one more thing I am going to note, because I know some of you will get tripped up on this one. If you look at the properties for a label and you don't see any events in here, that's because you can't tie events to labels that are bound to a text box. All right, notice if I click on this guy and drag it, it moves the text box with it. See, that's because these two are bound together. All right, if you want to assign a label, an, an event, you have to make it unbound. So if let's say, for example, I want to assign a label to family size. Just cut it and then paste it again. It'll come up up here, but it's not associated with that text box anymore. Whoops. All right, right there. See that? And now it's got events. Whoops, come back here. See? Now I can put events in there. If it's associated with the text box, it, it won't take events. All right, I get asked that a lot too. Okay. Want to add another one for minus one, right? Real quick, just copy paste this guy. All right, I'm gonna slide plus one over. We'll put minus one on the left. All right, we'll make this one minus one, like that. All right, that's what is this guy called? That's plus one day label. Let's make this one minus one day label. Whoops, that's the on-click event. I messed up there. See, I, even I goof up. Right, cut that out of there. Go to all. Paste that in the name. Okay, that should be the name of it. The event is going to be dot, dot, dot. Now I'm in the minus one day label click, right? Customer sense equals customer sense minus one. Save it, close it, close it, open it. Ready, go. Minus, 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 plus, plus, plus. There you go. There's your on click event. 
Want to learn more with the on-click event and some VBA? Well, in the extended cut for members, I'll show you how to make this combo box here where you can pick the interval. So day, week, month, quarter, year. You want to add six months, you drop it down. You pick month, you click plus one, plus one, plus one, six times. I'll show you how to make it a function too so you can pass any value you want to it. If you want to add a six there, you can make it add six months. Right, Two clicks, you're done. So that's in the extended cut for members. As a reminder, silver members and up get access to all of my extended cut videos. And there's a lot of them now. How do you become a member? Click the join button below the video. After you click the join button, you'll see a list of all the different types of membership levels that are available. Silver members and up will get access to all of the extended cut tech help videos, live video and chat sessions, and more. Gold members get access to a download folder containing all the sample databases that I build in my Tech Help videos, plus my code vault where I keep tons of different functions that I use. Platinum members get all the previous perks plus access to my full beginner courses and some of my expert courses. These are the full length courses found on my website and not just for access. I also teach Word, Excel, Visual Basic, ASP and lots more. But don't worry, these free tech help videos are going to keep coming. As long as you keep watching them, I'll keep making more. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and feel free to post any comments that you have. I do read them all. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is completely free, and click the bell icon and select all to receive notifications when new videos are posted. Click on the show more link below the video to find additional resources and links. You'll see a list of other videos, additional information related to the current topic, free lessons, and lots more. YouTube no longer sends out email notifications when new videos are posted, so if you'd like to get an email every time I post a new video, click on the link to join my mailing list. Now, if you have not yet tried my free Access Level 1 course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of building databases with Access. It's over three hours long. You can find it on my website or on my YouTube channel. And if you like level one, level two is just $1. And it's also free for all members of my YouTube channel at any level. Want to have your question answered in a video just like this one? Visit my tech help page and you can send me your question there. Click here to watch my free access beginner level one course, more of my tech help videos, or to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching this video from accesslearningzone.com.